guys, Tim with Outdoor Sport Adventure. In this video, we're going to talk about the 2021 Jeep Cherokee Trail Hawk 4x4 and uh, how I'm liking it as an overland vehicle uh, to camp out of and to uh, travel forest roads and trails. First off, let's start with some of the specs. This is a small four-wheel drive. And it has a V6, mine does, which is a 3.2 liter. It has 271 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. The torque is 239 at 4,400 RPM. And let's see, it's automatic with overdrive 9 speed. The first gear ratio is 4.71. The second gear ratio is 2.84. The third ratio is 1.91. I'm not going to go into these other ones because by the time you get to the eighth gear, you're at 0.58. The reverse gear ratio is 3.81. The final drive axle ratio is 352. Let's see what else we have here. Uh, they say the gas mileage range combined driving is 284 miles to 379. Now, 284 is going to be closest to right. Uh, it's got a 15.8 gallon gas tank. It's 107.1 inches long. Or that's the wheelbase. The length is actually 182 inches. Uh, width without mirrors is 74.9. The height is 67.8. The front track width is 63.6. And the rear track width is 63.5. It has a minimum ground clearance of 8.7 inches. Uh, let's see. Seats five. The front headroom is 39.4. The front leg room in inches is 41.1. The front shoulder room is 57.6. Hip room is 53.8. I'm not going to do the second seat. Uh, the cargo space, well, they don't have the listed, but the cargo space area width at belt line is 41.4 inches. The cargo width between the wheel housing is 36.1. The height is 30.7. It's got a rack and pinion steering. The turning diameter radius curb to curb in feet is 38.1. Has a stretch multi-link suspension. Four wheel disc brakes. Let's see what this I think is relevant. The front wheel size is 17 by 7 and a half. It's running P245 65R17. Well, they have P24565 TR17. Rear wheel size is 17 by 7.5, which is also. P245 65TR17. The spare is a full size with a steel rim. The towing capacity of the Trailhawk, I believe, is 4,500 pounds. They have the towing for without the tow hitch. Here we go. The towing without the tow hitch is 2,000 pounds. The towing, not just the Trailhawk, the towing of a Cherokee with the tow hitch is 4,500 pounds. Uh, the base curb weight is 4,250 pounds. And I'm going to stop there with the specs and just kind of go into what I think about it. And I think I'm going to start with the negatives. The number one negative since I came out of a full-size truck 
his space. Oh, you know, with the full-size truck, you just got so much space in your bed that you can use for all your gear, okay? So I knew this going into the Cherokee, and uh, I planned for it. With the Cherokee on space, as you can see in the video, I did add a roof rack. Uh, I just used Harbor Freight roof rack, Harbor Freight roof rails, both are rated 150 pounds, which is what the rails on the uh, Cherokee Trailhawk from the factory are rated, 150 pounds. So that's all you can put up there anymore. So keep in mind when you're loading it, you have to subtract the weight of the rack and the rails and you know in your 150 pounds you just subtract that and whatever's left is what you can put up there uh, and that's plenty for me to put my gear up there uh, i can totally go into the forest with all my camping gear using my tent not my rooftop tent my ground tent. and my solar panels and uh, my 60 liter ice co double uh, dual sided refrigerator in the back I can take all that in the trail hall and stay at camp as long as I want. Until I run out of food, okay? Uh, the second thing that I'm gonna say I don't like about it is for some reason the windshield on these things love rocks. Uh, two, three weeks after I purchased mine, I had to put a brand new window in. And it cost the insurance quite a bit of money because of all the tech that's on these cars now and the sensors and all that stuff. Uh, they're quite expensive and I have you know been on YouTube a lot looking at these researching them and I did notice that a lot of people are having to replace windshields from rock chips uh, so I'm thinking that the way they're designed they just uh, easy to, to have rocks hit the windshield uh, hopefully that won't happen again you know it may have just been a fluke on my part uh, but I have noticed a lot of videos uh, broken windshields. Uh, I also have noticed a lot of videos if you have the Cherokee with the uh, uh, sky top, whatever you want to call it, the glass uh, sunroof. Uh, I have actually seen videos where they have just been hit by a rock and completely collapsed in on people. Now this may be rare occasions, but I just know I've seen videos about it. So that might be something to consider. I'm glad I did not get the glass top, uh, especially since I haul stuff up there anyway, uh, I think that would be uh, extra money uh, that I just didn't need to spend. Uh, as far as negatives, uh, one more thing, I wish it had a little bigger gas tank, but as a small vehicle, uh, 284 miles per tank average isn't too bad. Uh, when I pulled my trailer, and you got to remember it has a rooftop tent up, way up high, so it's hitting wind. It pulled my mileage down to anywhere from 17 to 19. And when I'm just uh, have my cargo bag on the roof rack with my gear, and it sticks up, you know, pretty high, uh, I can get 20, 21 miles to gallon. Uh, with just the roof rack up there, I can 22, 23 miles per gallon. Now, I haven't taken that off just to see what I would get gas mileage wise with nothing up there, but I'm sure it's going to be a little bit better. Uh, capability. Uh, Jeep, as most people know, are very capable. The system in these Trailhawks is awesome. Uh, it can climb like a mountain goat. I have tested uh, it on very steep, loose gravel hill, and uh, man, it can climb. And I did have to lock my rear locker, which is another thing that comes with the trail hot package. Uh, you do get the rear locker, and the hill I went up, if I hadn't had that rear locker, it was giving me challenge, okay? So once I put the locker on, I went right up it. Uh, I try to stay out of mud. I'm not a fan of getting mud all underneath my vehicle. If I had to go through it, I would. And the trail hawk is, as long as you don't bottom out, you're going to go through it. I'll put it that way. As long as you're not sitting on the frame, the trailhawk is going to go through. Uh, I've been in uh, four-wheel drives for a long time, and I've went from like Baja Bugs to CJ7 to my four-wheel drive truck, four-wheel drive Suburban, and I know you know what a four-wheel drive can do, 
and I've been, uh, when I had my other vehicles, I pretty much went through extreme mud and where you was being winched out, winching other people out, and that kind of stuff. So I know what a four-wheel drive can do. And I have every confidence in this system, uh, as long as I'm not bottomed out, it's going to go through. Uh, am I happy with it? Very. The ride is very comfortable for a four-wheel drive that has this capability plus the comfort. It's awesome. And it doesn't feel like a box going down the road. Uh, I did consider a Wrangler. I thought about the Gladiator, but man, you know, we're talking some big money, and I didn't know if I liked it enough to spend that kind of money on it after having my truck. Uh, basically, my truck may not have the capability of the Gladiator, but it could pull more, and you know, it's four-wheel drive, and it was capable enough to do anything I wanted to do, so I could have just kept that. But I wanted to change, and one of the biggest reasons for going to the Cherokee is I wanted something narrower. Uh, for going down trails, you know, the, the smallness of this is awesome. It's easy to get in tight camping spots. It's easy to go down narrow trails without getting all scratched up as bad as a full-size vehicle. So, you know, that's another plus on it. Uh, it does have all the technology, more than I really needed. Uh, some stuff that I don't even use. I'm not sure about the lane assist. Uh, I hardly ever use it. There have been a few times I've clicked it on, but I just, I don't know about that. And uh, I wish it had the cruise control that would set lock onto the vehicle in front of you, but this one does not. But it does have cruise. Uh, but yeah, I love the, the Cherokee. Uh, in this video, you're going to see pictures. You're going to see some of the stuff I've got loaded in the back right now. And I'm telling you, there's enough room in there with, uh, I haul my dog in the back seat and me and my wife up front and all of our gear needing the roof rack, okay? For the stuff I take, I had to have the roof rack. Number two things that go up there, my table, my solar panel. And then I put my roof rack on top of that and then my kitchen uh, supplies and clothes bags, stuff like that go up the top. In the back, you know, I, I got uh, solar shower, porta potty, um, X bull traction boards, which uh, so I normally put them up on top too. I've got a come along. I've got in the spare tire area. You have storage. So in that area, other than just my spare tire and jack, I have tow ropes. I have jumper cables. I have clevis. I have uh, spare tire, uh, not spare tire, tire fixed flat kit. Uh, I've got a fire start kit. I think I've got a hatchet. You know, I've got quite a bit of stuff under there. So there's really a lot of storage in this thing. And I'm very happy with it. You know, like I said, uh, for the comfort and the capability, I don't think you can really beat it without spending more money. And price-wise, uh, I think these things start about thirty-seven, thirty-eight thousand dollars. I think that's what that website said, anyway. Uh, so they're they're expensive, you know. But what vehicles not right now that have four-wheel drive and the tech that these things have? So uh, I just thought I'd sit down. You know, we've got five thousand six hundred and eighty some miles on it now, and. Those have been enjoyable miles. I, other than the window being uh, cracked, I've had no issues with it. Uh, and, and we love it. The wife likes it. I like it. And, uh, you know, we plan on using this for a whole lot of trips, a whole lot of rough miles. Uh, I don't plan on doing anything extreme with it. But uh, we do see uh, forest roads, dirt trails, climbing on top of boulders every now and then, uh, you know, and stuff like that, pulling a trailer. And I did pull my trailer, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, but it's uh, uh, 10 foot long, has a rack on it, has rooftop tin on it, has a metal box up front, has two storage boxes in the back, full of gear, propane tank, uh, battery, solar panels, chairs, 
all that stuff in it and I can pull it down the highway 75 mile an hour without any issues whatsoever. So, you know, it can handle a trailer. And I said, this is rated at 4,500. You know, I'd say 3,600 pounds be a good weight to tow behind it. Uh, once you start going beyond that, then you're going to start noticing it. Uh, I really don't know what else to uh, say about the Cherokee Trailhawk other than it's a great vehicle. You can overland it. It is quite capable. Uh, it'll haul all your camping gear. And you can use it to stay multiple days and nights in the forest. Because uh, we've done it. And we're going to be doing a whole lot more. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot more about this Cherokee coming up. I do have uh, future plans of putting a 2-inch lift on it. And maybe some other stuff, you know. We'll see what the future holds. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We're on our way to 1,500 subscribers. When we hit 1,500 subscribers, we'll be doing a channel giveaway. And we're going to be giving away this Hogue 04A Outdoors for Adventure Travel Tumbler. Insulated, hot code. It's very pretty. Hopefully, whoever wins it will get a lot of use out of it. It is brand new in the box, 20 ounce, and we're looking forward to giving that to a uh, lucky subscriber. So until the next video, I appreciate y'all stopping by. If you have any questions about the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk, uh, feel free to ask. I know there's a lot I didn't cover uh, on it, but the main point I want to get across is it is an exceptionally good vehicle for off-road and on-road. And you can haul your gear in it. Uh, go back in some other videos. You'll see the rooftop rack loaded up. you also see that I made a carrier that goes in the trailer hitch to mount traction boards and a gas tank, a roto pack too. Uh, you can also mount your CB antenna on it if you want to. And uh, so there's the options you can do to make more room for these things. Uh, but we love it. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I hope I gave you some type of information you can use if you're thinking about uh, four-wheel drive sport utility. And uh, yeah, until later, y'all have a good one.